the sound might really suck today, but let's, we're trying it. Yesterday, the, um, the camera kept overheating and I didn't know what to do. And there's been so many problems with this camera, but I'm still fighting them and still trying. I see you have a little bit of the rear view in the shot, but. Okay, so we're gonna go to the Zimmerman Automotive Museum, as you already know from the title of the video. Um, I was gonna go to a restaurant after that, which we may still stop at the restaurant, let's see. But I'm in the car like an hour early and I'm already out of the house and I don't have much I wanna do at home right now, so let's go get breakfast. And then we'll go to the automotive museum and then we'll see about the lunch, but I'm probably not gonna be hungry, like I already said. This is really boring and I apologize for how boring this is at the second, but I need to test the camera a little bit. So I've had this, we have a detour, we have a detour, let me start with that. Um, I was going to go to King's Hawaiian, get the breakfast, do the car, blah, blah, blah. But then on the way to King's Hawaiian, I passed Alpine Village. I've always wanted to come here. I've been to the flea market a million times, the flea market's over there. But the timing's always off. And the restaurant that's right here went out of business during the pandemic. And I had always wanted to go do, they had like old German folk dancing nights and stuff like that I thought would be awesome. It never happened. And so now it's just like the market is left. I think even their cafe went out of business. Um, it's 9.05 now. The driving museum opens, I think at 10. The market here opens at 10. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna go to the flea market, look around, go to the market here, get something small, I really want to buy goulash, like really bad. It's like the only place in LA that has real goulash apparently. And maybe if they can give me some ice, I can put it in the cooler in the car. Uh, go to car museum, then have the lunch that I originally planned on, and then see where we go from there. These are all German stores. Uh, see, there's the authorized Hummel dealer. There's the cat, it's supposed to look like an Alpine village. Um, and I have to say, having spent time in small German towns, it's not that, uh, holy shit, you guys, it's the fucking Goodyear blimp. Look at that. Look at that. Where's the zoom on this? Let's zoom it up. Zooms. Was not counting on seeing the Goodyear blimp this morning. And there it is. All right, I gotta get my phone out, take some better pictures.
Okay, so the cafe is closed. They do not have goulash anymore because it was only for the cafe. This, when you walk in there, it smells awesome. Not the best bakery I've ever smelled in my life or anything like that, but certainly for LA, it's, it's really great. Um, selection is really minimal. These shots look like shit. The sun is so harsh this time of year. Um, and I've never been a fan of that. So, anyway, no goulash. Uh, nothing I really needed, but pretzels. I did get a couple pretzels, one for now, one for later. They're pretty good. So you're allowed to go inside the cars and touch the cars and stuff, except for a few uh, that you're not allowed to. Of course, the DeLorean right there is one of them. And I have to say, having lived in California now for this long and having gone to so many car museums here, the sighting of a DeLorean used to be a rare and unique thing, and now it seems almost mandatory in any, uh, in any car museum. It's just the one room. It's not the biggest collection of cars or anything like that that I've seen out here, but the fact that you can go in them is insane. Um, what's this one? 1941 Cadillac convertible. I don't think I've ever been in a 1941 Cadillac convertible, have you? Oh my god. You just sink right into the seats. Look at this radio. Wow. It's such a completely different experience um, than, than the cars we have now. It's so weird uh, being in a car like this. It's really like, you sink down a lot. I don't know how to show you that, but, um, and the, the windshield's like way far away. And there's, there must be so many blind spots that I wouldn't even know because I've never driven a car like this. Although I'd kind of like to try driving a car like this. I wonder if there's somewhere we can go. We should find out if there's somewhere I can go drive a car like this somewhere. Although it's m manual transmission, and I don't know how to drive manual. Don't tell anybody. So maybe I don't want to do that. This is really cool. It's actually like, I wasn't expecting this to be this, this interesting, actually. Let me see what else they got. I feel like I'm stepping into like a Mickey Mouse cartoon of a car. Like Mickey Mouse goes on vacation with Donald and Goofy. This is the car they would have taken. Oh, I didn't realize that it's wood paneling inside as well. I don't wanna close it too far. There's a little fan. And the rear view mirror is really low, actually. See that? This is what the back seat looks like. It's tiny. My dad used to have an MG when I was a kid. And he'd drive me to school in it sometimes. And it was tiny like this. And it smelled just like that. And it was uncomfortable just like that. And people used to stare at us and Wave to him, great car. And I guess it kind of was. I don't know, um, should we sit in all of them? I guess, as if we were at a dealership trying out cars. I don't know.
Now I was just looking at these uh, behind the glass, and I've been, like I was saying, I've been to so many of these museums now that, I mean, I've seen, no joke, probably 500 cars like this. But something about it just hit me. They're playing um, music. It's coming from over there somewhere. I doubt it's copyrighted. And it's, I would guess, from the, you know, start of recorded music kind of stuff. And, um, man, uh, something just totally hit me. History kind of thing, like, um, I'm rambling like an idiot, but... You really get a sense of the history. You really can imagine somebody driving these things. It's, it's such a different experience once you sit in the cars. It's really weird. Really, really weird. Really incredible. I'm sitting in a car from 1916. The, uh, the steering wheel is wood. It's out of focus too. Now it should be in focus. It's wood. And um, the ceiling is like right over my head. It's a very, very tiny car. But there's so much of it, like you feel like you're flying a spaceship or something. You're really high up off the ground. This one feels like it has fewer blind spots than that other one does, but it probably has more because of this and they hadn't invented rear view mirrors and there's no side mirrors, just glass. It was probably freezing in this thing. Look at this. Crazy. And what an inch. This, this is one of my favorite museums I've ever been to in LA, really. So that's an original Model T Ford and actually I, I hate to admit, this is probably the car I'd most like to sit in, but you're not allowed to um, sit in it. This is, this is really the car that made America. I mean, modern consumer society, modern industrials. This is it. This is really the most iconic American vehicle and it still looks good I mean the design is so well done that even though it's completely unsafe and um, probably crazy expensive to run it would probably be great to drive Anyway, um, I don't know how much more time I need to spend here, but wow, this was a really good one. This was a really, really good one. Shockingly so. Wow. They also, I, they have an ice cream shop and like a diner in the corner over there. I don't know why, but it looks great. This is what I saw. Let's go see about that lunch, shall we? So I ordered lunch, I got a fountain drink, I'm gonna, oh it's a freestyle machine so they probably have a good orange vanilla high seat, but the thing I think is so funny, so it's, you can watch the planes take off and land and there's this whole 
thing out here, I'll show you. There. There's, oh, there's picnic tables and everything. But uh, this is the Royal Family Christian Village, and it is Sunday. Uh, so there is some hooting and a hollering going on. I love this fun stuff. But I'll show you better pictures in a second. Let me get my sandwich and my drink. They gave me this absurdly large tray for one sandwich. It was like $22 right there. But if you look, look carefully, can you see it? We're going to watch a plane land while we eat the sandwich. Used to be able to do this in Newark at the IKEA across the street. And I think they changed it. This is a. Uh, every airport used to have a thing like this where you could watch planes land while you ate food. American Airlines today. Hmm. I'll try to show you the restaurant, but I don't, I don't think I can.